Hello and welcome back to another episode of Skyrim Requiem 3BF Tweaks. My name is Saiken and today we're continuing Diaries of Death. Uh, this is the story of Isaac the Reborn, a mage who is trying to find his destiny in the world of an, a very harsh environment and is very close to his tier 1 goal that we set which is recover the Elder Scroll and as part of that he's also trying to solve another quest, um, which would be Elder Scroll and trans uh, Transcription of the Lexicon um, and Hermito's Mora questline to get him into Destruction Magic. So, uh, sorry for the last episode and the abrupt ending, but we were running very much overdue and I don't want to do one and a half two hour episodes so today we are continuing with one of my favorite dungeons and a few easter eggs that you might not uh, be aware of in this dungeon so i unloaded all of uh, the equipment that we gathered and we're going to start with sidorian's field laboratory Okay, so this here is one of my favorite rooms because it has a couple of hand placed items Lots of tomes, as you can see. Art of Smithing, Bolt of Shock, and, and a lot of spell tomes. More importantly, Cinderian has Cinderian's Field Journal, which is exactly what we need because it will help us to discover the importance of Crimson Nern Root, which is this reddish looking Nern Root. And if we get 30 of them and return them uh, to a place near Riften, we are going to get a permanent increase in alchemy's uh, potency. So very, very powerful. There is another surpassing healing. Each surpassing healing in my book is um, kind of a, an extra life because you typically chuck them whenever you're very close uh, to dying and if I do not mistake there was even a Daedra heart in here right yeah there we go fantastic we definitely need that for later unfortunately the expert chest is a bit much for us to do I tell you what though we'll take one hour of power nap for the rest uh, for the rested bonus and for the better regeneration reapplying all of uh, the buffs good and because of that let's also use the bomb and we're good So, time for us to find as much Crimson Urn Root as we can. I think I won't be able to get all 30. But we'll be way, uh, well on our way. Mm. So this is another entrance. Mm. I'm just opening. Great lift directly leads into our uh, into Black Reach. Mm. Having that open for the future will make our journey here substantially easier. And now we're off to some fights because there are already farmers over there. far as that. Careful there, Saiken. We don't want to be hit by the fireball. Oh. 
That was stupid, dude. You had a perfect position up there and you botched it by jumping down. Yeah, we're not going to open that floodgate yet, but we're going to fight the Centurion in a second. Summonings definitely can take care of business here. But before we aggro the entire Black Reach, I would air for, uh, for a bit more caution. That's exactly why you need to be cautious. Stupid paralysis. By the way, where is our companion? I haven't seen him in a while. Did he just literally stay outside and that was about it? No, he's standing down here. Okay, cool. Well. Well, good job, you found a chest, but you don't need to guard that with your life. Oh, that's a great shield. I think we're going to give that to him. Once the fight is over. And once again, para uh, paralyzed. Drink a potion. Fine. summonings. And a little bit of extra damage. Good, back to the Falmers. We got 
quite a few of them. Fortunately, our long range capabilities aren't still great. that don't need that can do without that I'll keep the store metro now for later. We still have the Dwarven Shield, that's the main offender. We'll get rid of it soon. Which brings us back to the age old question of where is our companion? <coughs> this is a pretty scrappy fight. I was hoping to clean this tower here. Still seem to be engaged in combat. So, Jargo, where are you? carry your shit around. Where is my companion? Last time I saw him we fought here. Oh there you are. Showing up to work a little bit late, ain't you? I will shoulder some of your burden. So you're saying you are not taking the magic suppression because you think that the Targ of the Blooded is better. Has better armor value, I give you that. But you, my friend, need magical resistance. We follow then. Tell you what, if anyone we'll fix up. that. <clears throat> Once we're back in town, but I don't want to be overburdened and run the risk of running out of transmute muscles in the middle of the fight. <clears throat>
had my hands <clears throat> on my surpassing potion. But that was a rather nasty first battle. Hardcore battle right here. Master key, and we can't enter. Really good loot, but we can't get it. Well, well, uh, I just realized something. Give me a second. Good, so much to my dislike, I actually was playing with older summonings, which means we do have a couple of really, really good summonings and I haven't even used them. Well, can just improve the quality of battles. So let me introduce you to Mr. Storm Atronarch. Alright, move forward my minions. Oh boy, he is hitting hard. There are plenty of farmers, some of which are shooting at us. Okay, we pulled them back, we are behind uh, the rocks here gives us a, a quite secure location. Still looking for this long-ranged weapon that we don't have yet. True mage fight summonings fight against summonings until the mages decide to go in.
So we still have plenty of enemies engaged. Granted, most of them are on the other side. And that river might be a problem because um, it's one of uh, those obstacles that enemies and allies alike can't really uh, go over. Trying to summon and get these guys uh, to come closer. That's a full bastion on full of farmers. And I still wanted to fight these centurions for the greater field soul gems, so I need to remember that. If you wonder why I'm ultra careful here, these guys, just one arrow and we might be knocked out. definitely see farmer from the other side so I'll be careful here before we go down there a bit of feather falling and water walking would be helpful Certainly can't get back up. There are three farmers literally standing down there. Can't reach them from here. Can I summon something. Okay, I am unfortunately stuck, so we need to use anti-collision, but we'll put collision back on, there we go. Sprinting up. And let's start the fight. Okay, we're still being bombarded from that side. Seal Jargo. No. <laughs> Luckily, we got Feather Fall. That's exactly where we want to stay. 
in safety. Time for a solid rebuff. What's the store matronap is doing our business down there? Killed all of uh, those guys. There are still archers up there. Back to healing hands. Come on, Jargo. Time to waste. So Matronach still fights up there. And I'm pretty sure there is there are a few more archers upstairs. Good, finally. down here try to get uh, all of those guys that have uh, fallen down typically I do have long-range weapons such as a bow or destruction magic and then you can just snipe them down but it makes for some interesting gameplay I must admit
there's still a crimson emerald somewhere, but I just can't seem to get it. Good, shout is back up. Let's go back to the Black Reach. I can see all of uh, the guys that were downstairs effectively just traveled towards us. Fair enough. Double checking this here. Just getting all of the entrances open, so if we want to come back. Discovered the great lift of Rubble Tor. And a dragon back there. You know what? Fuck that dragon. I don't want to uh, fight it right now. I think it's Alduin reviving another dragon. Okay, can't really summon. The Stormatron arcs up here, apparently. There's another stupid archer back here. advantage good and that next part here we unfortunately I, I don't want to go in there uh, we are the section here is below a section which you're supposed to enter from above and it then just connects to here fortunately there is no way for us to open the um, elevator and said elevator i know that there are enemies upstairs and the problem that i'm seeing with that is chargo might just be stuck and continue trying to attack the enemies without any, any real chance of doing that Okay, onwards and uh, offwards and onwards. We're fighting the Centurion in a second. This is going to be our next big test, like that fort there. Quite a few farmers, so be careful here. Each of the arrows can essentially spill doom. By them. I can see a couple from upstairs. However, both the undeads and the Atronarch are very much immune to poison, so they counter the archers nicely. Plenty of other targets around.
decent cover. That rock here will do. Now we're letting Falmer fight against Falmer. I'm a bit underleveled for this area, but I want the Elder Scroll. And figured a good way of getting it is using summonings and just trying to stay out of uh, the thickets of the fight. Skeleton warriors are pretty much on point. Still fighting up there. Potion of Magicka gets us nicely back uh, to uh, to enough Magicka. Restrain myself from not casting for a bit. Ah, there are more farmers up there. Put a couple more targets out. These are the Falmer slaves, poor souls that are forced to fight. Falling down, mainly because I don't want the archer to hit us when our summonings are about to go off. Because then we're the only target left, just like now. Slowly but surely we're making our way into the fortress, trying to rebuff as we go.
Okay. Sent a couple undead warriors in there. Still farmers back there. Isn't isn't there any end to it? These guys are everywhere. Rebuffing some of uh, the buffs due to the ultra links of this fight have still been uh, running out. Feather falling is one that I would like to keep. Slowly but surely we're breaking their defense. I just wanted to do the Centurion down there. Well, the Centurions need to wait now. Once we've cleared the fortress, there is an Easter egg that some of you might know, because you can summon a special underworld dragon. We finally managed to wipe out most of this fortress. Holy is this a long fight. Good. Comet music is off. I will search for the remaining Crimson Urn route off camera 
but now I want to do the dragon and the Elder Scroll because that's what we came here for. Let's start with the dragon. can open the gate, but uh, now I can't because it's stuck. Are you kidding me? Okay, fair enough. I wasn't remembering that one. Okay, buffs are still looking good. We have some more time. This is where we can summon the dragon, which is also what we're going to do. So the whole ordeal with the dragon is we're going to use our ability to unrelenting force and shout a couple of times before we hear the dragon approach. There we go. What a fjord. It already indicated it's a fire dragon, so we got our fire resist handy. Anything else we need? I think we're more or less buffed. Uh, could do this here. Just in case it's a longer fight, the core buffs need to be up. Okay, and we want to have become ethereal as our shout. summoned. Likely by the dragon. And you can already see just how much damage it deals. Luckily 
Okay, for us it seems to be stuff or this. And lucky, uh, lucky for us as well. These guys are weak against lightning. Lots of inside portions there. Two grand, uh, filled grand soul gems, but that does not explain where the dragon is at. Oh, it's sitting down there. Okay, cool. Well, off we go. Jargo always goes in way too early. But you should have learned by now. Don't tangle with the dragon. Damage, decent damage, I like it. For starters, he's not flying, so that's that's always good. I wonder, is it more effective to just send in skeleton warriors? Be the worst idea. Sufficient magical usage, that's for sure, because we get a lot of time for regeneration.
single casts are better. I don't need to do a cast. We don't need to do uh, the duration. Sending in hordes of summonings. Good, I'll fast forward the fight. Right, time for Rune Fall to die. Dragon Soul. Now, what we want to do next is get the actual Elder Scroll. Feels like it's been a long episode already. Should teach them. I think we still have a centurion left. Right there. And somehow we're still battling something. Stairs. Not sure what it is. But I'm pleased to see that we're moving in on the Centurion. Who apparently got stuck again. Summoning the, ca the cavalry in. Let's not underestimate these guys, but they hit pretty hard. One shot a level of heart. Their breath is also nasty, but their hits are what mainly concerns me. are so overloaded. Good, time to go for the Elder Scroll. Direction. 
Yeah, I figured it was that tower. Okay, well, off we go. We're so long in here that even our food almost evaporated, which means something because it's like 5,600 um, seconds, the special food that we're creating lasts ultra long. Couple of farmers. I'll take cover behind the rocks. That strategy has worked quite well so far. Okay, there are still a few farmer left over. Lots of uh, material. I will need to come back and harvest that. Oh, we can open that. For once, a chest that we can open. Holy. It is Christmas in the end. Okay, there are still farmers here. Just need to spot them out. Gosh dang it, all of uh, these are valuable. I'll tell you what, we eat one more food. Oh, there you go. There you go. I was wondering where they would show up. Okay, so off we go into the building where the other school is located. Unfortunately, there are still farmer down there, and my concern is that they will come with us once we go inside. See, a normal, uh, a normal Skyrim, this would not be a problem, but since every enemy here uh, begins to uh, try to move with you when you're transitioning between zones, this actually becomes an, a real concern. All of a sudden you find yourself with like 20 farmers in the next zone. Not immediately, but they can spawn in time after. So, rather get them down. Open next. 
expert. Magica. One more archer. Oh no, there's still more. Okay, well. We killed everyone. Now we can transition. The boss chest literally I do not give enough loot here. That is unfortunate. Just as I was about to say that, well, that's pretty damn good loot. We already know Paralyze. Uh, the spell that I picked with the last level up from Alteration. Okay, and whilst we're moving, time to leave us. Okay, Ooh. almost there. Oh, an enchanted sphere. Oh, this is so Taking healing hands. Yeah, the enchanted sphere is amongst uh, the hardest enemies. Our undeads are quite resistant to their uh, to their frost effects. I think it might be the right call. To summon a lot of undeads here. Problem is they're not doing any damage. Well, I should not say that once they start hitting, they actually do a surprising amount of damage.
Fantastic. Greater inside portions. You are taking us somewhere warm. I will and I'm playing too risky bad. with having so much stuff here. I'll take that. And we certainly don't need 50 Falmer ears. Lead on, friend. That's not a bad shield. But we're better off giving him magic re uh, magic resistance. That's also not bad. Kajit guards your back. I will shoulder some of your burden. Uh, Shargyo currently, I think, has an illusion helmet. Yep, eminent illusion. And we're trading. I was about to trade him for eminent archery. Tell you what, we're just going to get rid of some Tom. of these uh, things. Battle axe, dwarven blacksmithing, we don't need that as well. Sneaks up. I will shoulder some of your burden. So Xargo got penetration. Oh, I forgot about that. That's actually better than both of the ones that we just picked up. Lead on, friend. Absolute fantastic loot. Oh, yeah. Kiargo, we do have some good news you for you. Some well. I will show there some of your burden. See, when you thought that uh, that massive eminent health suit was good, yeah, it wasn't. This one here is better. 400 AC. 30 health. Oh, that's the battle mage armor. My bad. My bad, because that is the light, uh, lighter weight armor. In that case, this is actually better. But we are still overloaded, so we. I will need to come back. Okay. For a lot of this stuff. Don't make me use knock. No, 
nice. Great chest. And again, great chest. Eminent health. Yes, please. And we already have that. This one is a great weapon as well. Unfortunately, we're not using crossbows, but that is fantastic. Together with the bolts of shock, oh, that's a great weapon. Yeah, you can't take it all. So, we're finally here. Let me do a little bit of the magic and get us the Elder Scroll. Look at that. The Elder Scroll is finally ours. <laughs> and with that we have... We do have quite a bit of spell uh, cost reduction so let's take a look here conjuration oh yeah I mean storm Atronux only a hundred now yeah that's much better So we got 15 from the scroll, 5 from uh, our race. We got throughout our equipment um, 20 on the Necromancer's amulet. So that's like what, 40 already? We got another 16, which is 66. And Azendals gives us what exactly? Another 12. So, in terms of uh, conjuration, I think we hit the threshold, which means I will need to do some some digging and seeing how how close we are to the, uh, to the threshold. But 15 from the scroll, five from the race. It's 20. Another. Um, another, I think, 20. Conjuration is 30% cheaper to cast, so 30 from the amulet, uh, which means that in itself is already 50%. Uh, then we did have the ropes, which is another 16%, so that's 66%. And then we had uh, Asendal's ring here, uh, which brings us to solid 78%, which is well above the cap of... Um, of uh, 75 percent so we are definitely capped when it comes to uh, spell cost reduction for conjuration and you can see i mean uh, just look at it uh, this year is an ongoing spell it's almost draining no magicka whatsoever that unclear destiny uh, is a respect potion if we so desire it so we'll keep that Firmly stored away, just in case I need to respec up at some point. And dropped himself, unfortunately, doesn't really have a lot of good things going on. Anyway, so, next step is, and then that will uh, conclude uh, the series, hopefully. We need to... Give the lexicon to Septimus and that'll give us some more perks. So let me do that and unload a lot of our stuff that we uh, have gotten. Alright, so...
We brought the deciphered script here. Now after our friend has helped us to decipher everything, we're taking the Ogma Infinium. Come, my champion. Now, you have my Agma Infinium. It contains the knowledge of the ages, as revealed to Sarsis, my loyal servant. For hundreds of years, it's been shut away from the world. Septimus was a useful tool for unleashing it. Now, it is in your hands. Let us work wonders together. Very good. And with that, we do have not only the Elder Scroll, but the Ogman Finium. Which allows us uh, to either read the Path of Might, that gives us uh, hit points, Path of Endurance, or Path of Magic. We're taking the Path of Might because we need extra hit points. And then we should get quite a few extra hit points plus... Uh, quite a bit of perks. There we go. Health substantially increased we're now clocking 400 hit points and since we're almost done with this uh, first playthrough let's also upgrade our skills holy that was a great run so illusion goes up and chanting goes up this enchanting 75 would yield us quite a bit of extra equipment. Not yet, qu uh, not quite there yet, but we're getting there. And we got destruction. I think we can reach 75. Cool. Yep, that will skyrocket the character substantially forward becomes very expensive after 75 so I'm wondering if we want to go restoration 75 first or if we're just biting the bullet now and continuing I think 90 is the next breakpoint for conjuration alteration certainly has a few great options at 100 and you know what? We might go down that route. As you can see, it costs 30 greater points per point now. So that will take a while to level them up. Overall, we're increasing health and more health and more health, as you would have guessed. So now is the time to branch into destruction. We'll take novice destruction it almost doesn't matter what we're taking here because we're not going to use novice spells I purposefully did not use them uh, in this playthrough as they are quite underwhelming Empower Elements which allows us to dual cast so that's a must equally going up the ladder to Apprentice Destruction this here is a bit better. These are actually serviceable. They are not bad. And I tell you what, uh, we're going with Ice Rune and Lightning Rune, just in case I feel like going into Rune Mastery. We already got Fire Rune, uh, but none of these, maybe Lightning Jolt, but none of uh, these individually uh, would be spells that I would uh, like to cast. Now, Adapt here looks very different uh, there we want fireball fantastic spell uh, just outright broken 
Lightning Shackles, uh, equally great spell. Both of them are AoE spells. The one is true AoE and the other one is just jumping from target to target. So I think that's what we want. Uh, both of them absolute power spells. Expert Destruction. Incinerate. Uh, super good uh, single target damage. And potentially Lightning Strike. The ray isn't bad either. Uh, it's uh, just like our uh, swarm, a channeled spell. But I think we're going with lightning strike, just single target uh, damage. Now, finally, I figured we might want to go uh, and go into fire magic uh, because I want if the character continues and if you if you vote for him I, I would like to make him a vampire uh, later down the road uh, and that would incur a fire resist penalty at the very end of each of these trees however you can see that they get uh, massive bonuses to uh, to the resistant of the respective element plus fire is a highly efficient element against many many enemies so we're going to take uh, Pyromancy and then Cremartation, uh, which uh, most adept level uh, spells will make the target run in fear for five seconds. Um, target with at least 50 fire resistance would be immune to that, but that's okay. We effectively need to do that in order to get uh, there. And uh, we're upgrading Pyromancy. And I know it's potentially a bit of a cliffhanger here, guys, but uh, this kind of concludes we're quite far uh, past uh, the tier one stage. It was potentially a bit of a stretch goal because we're already um, substantially into the 20th. Uh, so that is mid game uh, at, its, uh, at its core and a mage with uh, 75 uh, in conjuration and destruction is a force to be reckoned with so if you want to see uh, this character progressing uh, and this time with a little bit more destruction magic at our disposal then that should be your vote uh, other than that i thoroughly enjoyed uh, uh, isaac's uh, reborn uh, journey it was a good run so far if you enjoyed it as well uh, think about uh, bewitching the like button and see you in the next runs bye bye